desolate and silent. This is what the small resort town of Grand Bassam is like 10 days after the horrific terrorist attack that saw 16 people dead. Here at the Etoile de Sud Hotel, where the attack took place, it seems to be business as usual. But the manager tells me occupancy is at its lowest. After the terrorist attack, everywhere is quiet because people stop coming. People do come during evenings to give their condolences and wish as well. Nevertheless, we remain open and all staff continue to work. Before, we would receive at least 100 to 120 people over the weekend, especially on Sundays. But now, no one is coming, and we do hope they will return. Now, Madam Clarice is the president of all commercial activities that take place here on the beach, and she tells me that this place used to be a beehive of activity. Madam Clarice, comment ça se passe maintenant? Bon, faut dire que le début ce n'était pas facile, mais aujourd'hui, vous voyez, les hôtels sont ouverts. Now, of course, she says that they lost a lot of clients uh, after last week's attack, and they're really hoping uh, that over the next few weeks they'll see uh, people get over their fear and return back. Uchi Okoronkor, Grand Bassam, Cote d'Ivoire. And Uchi Okoronkor now joins us live from that very location in Cote d'Ivoire with more data on this story. Um, Uchi, let's look at the big picture here. How much of Cote d'Ivoire's employment and GDP comes from the tourism sector? Well, Rama, actually, Cote d'Ivoire has two major uh, tourist uh, spots. Of course, Grand Bassam, where we are right now, which, of course, is a popular beachfront uh, resort uh, destination or attraction. It's also a historical capital uh, of the country. And also San Pedro in the southwest of the country, which is connected to the maritime sector, ho housing, of course, the second largest port uh, in the country. And also it is a beachfront attraction as well. Now, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council, the sector did contribute about 4.4 percent uh, to GDP in 2014. It is expected uh, to contribute about 7.1 percent uh, in 2015. It also says in terms of employment, uh, the sector is expected to provide about 200,000 jobs uh, to the sector. That's between 2016 and 2024. Uh, Grand Bassam, of course, as we mentioned, is a pretty popular weekend getaway for many Ivorians. Um, can the sector bet on domestic tourism in order to actually drive its recovery? Mm. Well, actually, the government said that it would pump in about $100 million uh, into the tourism sector, into tourism infrastructure, uh, and, of course, marketing following the attack. Uh, so they're looking to boost the tourism sector uh, following the terrible attack that took place here last week. Uh, another issue, of course, the area is still reeling uh, from the attack uh, that took place. But people here feel that uh, within a short time, we'll see uh, people coming back here already, as you can see, behind me some people have already uh, come back to the beach so in terms of the outlook for the tourism sector here it is good indeed one final question for you Uche. what's the latest in the manhunt for the main suspect in that attack Kunta Dalla Well, there hasn't been any update uh, so far. I mean, the last we heard is that they had arrested 15 people uh, connected, uh, of course, with the attack here. But the main uh, culprit, the ringleader of the attack, uh, Kunta Dalla, uh, of course, they have not been able to catch him yet. They're calling on citizens, uh, circulating his picture uh, in order for some, some, someone to give information uh, regarding this Kunta Dalla uh, character. Now, with, regarding the 15 uh, suspects uh, they caught, according to Associated uh, Press, uh, they were from Mali and Côte d'Ivoire. So that's what we know so far. Really, there hasn't been much of an update. Indeed. We'll leave it there for the time being. Thank you for that. That's uh, Ucho Koronko, of course, at Kambasam in Côte d'Ivoire by the beach.